This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. All right, everyone, I hope you're all having a brilliant day. Now, for those of you who don't know, you now will know that Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr., the press conferences, first one will be on Wednesday in Saudi Arabia, then Thursday in New York, and then Friday in London. Okay, so we've got to find out a whole lot more details as these days progress and get a lot more interviews and insight from both fighters and whoever else involved. So all good stuff. Now, when this fight was announced for Saudi Arabia, there's been a lot of fans who were maybe a bit critical of it, okay? And hey, listen, everyone's entitled to their own thoughts, of course. For me, I don't care where the fight landed, okay? Just as long as a rematch happened, that's all I cared about. Now, for a lot of people who were critical of it happening in Saudi Arabia, I don't quite understand the criticism on them unless they were planning on going to somewhere in the UK, whether it be Cardiff or Wembley, wherever, or you plan on going to New York. If you weren't planning on going, then why would you really be critical of a fight happening in Saudi Arabia? From my point of view, it's a case of Saudi Arabia, as far as the UK time zones are concerned, they are two hours ahead of UK, which means that ordinarily a ring walker in the UK is what, 10, 10.30 at night, means it'll be 8, 8.30 in the evening. Okay, so that ain't too bad, right? Unless, of course, you're in America, then, of course, you're watching it, what, mid-afternoon. Okay, but for me, I don't mind. Um, I actually prefer earlier ones. Now, a lot of people are saying that they're unhappy about the fight being in Saudi Arabia. And I think a lot of them were just AJ haters because a lot of people say, but there's no VADA, there's no testing. That's why they're doing it. Well, there is testing and we knew that there was going to be testing. Anybody who knows if a WBA world title is on the line, there has to be testing, right? Now, VADA put out a message and this is what they said. VADA testing welcomes Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. back to our program as they prepare for December the 7th, 2019 in Saudi Arabia. Hashtag clean sport. So there you go. There will be VADA testing. Not that um, a lot of people needed telling that, but a lot of people needed to be reminded that it is because a lot of people were concerned that there's no testing in Saudi Arabia. Not quite sure where they got that information from or why they said that. No idea whatsoever. But either way, there is testing there was always going to be testing okay so that will squash all that part unless of course you're really a hater of Anthony Joshua say oh well Eddie Hearn's going to pay them okay whatever now this is a very very interesting fight that's for sure it's arguably the biggest fight of the year it's going to be for a historical point of view as well will Andy Ruth Jr not only has he become the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world but will he be able to defend those titles okay or will Anthony Joshua become a two-time heavyweight champion of the world, thus creating history in both sets of scenarios? Me personally, I believe Anthony Joshua is going to get the win and do it quite convincingly. You never know, right? But either way, that is what's going on. Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz Jr. will in fact be VADA tested while in Saudi Arabia. So they will be tested right the way through camp. And as Anthony Joshua does in all of his fights, he pays for extra testing, okay? Not just a... Maybe they might turn up or maybe they won't, as for most fighters, okay? But Joshua, much like a Dylan White, extra testing. So he will pay out of his own pocket for extra testing while Joshua's training in Sheffield in the UK. And when he gets to Saudi, much like Andy Ruiz Jr., while he's in uh, California. And of course, once he's in Saudi Arabia as well, as after the fight as well, okay? So all round drug testing, extra testing, all through Vada. But of course, Joshua, he'll be tested by UCAD while he's in, here in the UK, as well as, I don't know about Ruiz, will he be tested by the um, California State Athletic Commission? I have absolutely no idea. But either way, that's what's going on. Both fighters will be tested by Vada. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next one.